<laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. I'm Deepa. And no mystery of what's on the table. You probably guessed, these have come from the scrummage. We did a little bit of off-camera uh, sorting out. Well, we didn't really like the CCO one, did we? No. Last week, you know when we tasted this right at the end of the show? Let's remember what happened. A little flashback. Hold on. Well, that's not a bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> that's light enough for Ardbeg, <laughs> Lucas is saying. Is it Ardbeg? No. <laughs> it's not Ardbeg. Okay. It's not Ardbeg then, according to last week. Let's find out what we are going to get for the next 12 minutes. We are going to be tasting bottle number 128. I think to quote, that's light enough to be our beg. What do you think? <laughs> now remember, we were having, uh, we were getting no peat at all on MC01, were we? Remember last time where we pulled the day before glass on MC01 and we couldn't get any peat? Well, this one, tons of ashy dust. It's like it's been filled with, you know, from the campfire dust and rinsed out. And, but that is ashy. Mmm, and nice, nice and ashy, right? If we look at the bubbles. We're probably, let's see, 43, or 46. I don't think we're any higher than that because even 48 starts to look quite different, doesn't it? 36. What is subtle? You're saying the peat is subtle. You know, I got that new make, that new make smell again there, which is which is why I called it too young to smoke because now surprisingly that has got a smoky, but I'm getting green pepper on that. Yeah, yeah, uh, which I hadn't noticed before. So I think the peat and the green something is making it seem like a green pepper in this glass. Little bit of band-aid. Little bit malty. You begin about dentist. Yeah. Sort of somewhere between a dentist and a band-aid. Um nectar and food to the norm and but it's very new make. I'm gonna I'm gonna go straight in and confirm this ABV because there could be a lot to guess. And back feet. Uh, 46. Okay. The first clue is in. It will be somewhere, somewhere in the 46s. And there are a lot. Kilcarran 12, Ardbeg 10, Lagavulin Offerman, uh, Ardbeg Black, Ardbeg Drum. Wow, there's a lot of Ardbegs. Glendronic Peated, an Indian one, Paul John, the Thompson. Oh, another Ardbeg. The Jake, Ardbeg Dark Cove. An almond, sweet almond. Hmm, it does seem young to me though. Okay, I'm gonna have a taste on the watery version. Obviously it's thin because of the water, but still a bit of spice to that. And it's very green. Savory. When we drink this watery version, it does kind of spread everything out. But it's, it's nice. <laughs> is it as nice as this one? I, I like that very much because that is more peat, I think. Yeah, I know. It's a, a nice, soft, mild, savory. Okay, I'm going to use this to add a little water. To my other glass. Right, full strength. On the nose of the full strength, there's a bit more of a fruity side to it, a bit more nectarine on the on the nose. Peppery, spicy. I just say, put the first glassy, savory. I'm getting a kind of a cross between new make and nectarines on the nose. 
and there was Trotter and Gary that I saw him breed, but it's not aggressive. It's done. Beautifully balanced. Balance? A little bit of oak spice. Okay, let me have a taste. Yeah, simple but balanced. A fair bit of spice there. And he's a sort of a thin white fruit. Yeah, thin white fruit. Do you like it? I, I like it, but it's an apple that me a bit more ABV, slightly more. 46. It's oh, too God. weak. Yeah. A little sour in the middle. It's kind of like sweet nectarine, a little sour, then a rush of spice. Simple but classic. Mm. It's time for comparisons. But for me, you want to put other stuff. Well, first we'll compare. Okay. Better or worse? I saw. <laughs> It's a bit too much going on, but there's no gumbearers then. It is really, it's very good. So this is better than Wee Beastie? Yes. It has the same profile, but each each yes. thing is more harsh and um, but, not as good. It's a bit bitter. It's a bit really not too accurate. I prefer this. Oh. Hang on. I, think, I mean, it's not, it's not a profoundly earthy stuff. I think we're getting a little overload from one to the next. Hang on. But it's very soft. All right, I'm going to have a rinse. I'm going to go again. I would say there's no comparison. It's a much more, category. Much more whiny. Softer. Earthy. More rounded. Farmy. See, to me, this is a bit harsher. I'm still in favour of Pete Monster over this one. Do you want to do another one? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Supernova. Mm. Better? Very good. Oh, supernova. That is a supernova. Although, oh, that's expensive. We are out of time. Oh, I think it's out back then. You're saying it's on the shelf? Yes. You think. Oh, hang on. What about my painting? You've all seen it at the beginning. I think that's fairly representative. That pink and blue thing bit is sort of the new make thing I was getting. You're going with Ardbeg 10. Oh, hang on, we've got, we've got Ardbeg Black also. Surely it can't be the 19 year old. That would be disappointing. I'm calling it new make. Dark Cove, not very dark. <laughs> so I'm thinking no. I think Ardbeg Black, we're not getting anything whiny. I'm tempted to go Ardbeg 10 as well, but for the sake of a difference, I'll try my hand with the drum. Ready for the reveal. We know it's 46%. It is. No age statement. Oh no! Oh no. $115. It is from Isla and it is from Ardbeg. So, what is it? Oh yes! <laughs> Score! Stop. It's the art bank drum. But they're not the drum. They're not from. It's just from. Part, partly the reason why I thought this could be a possibility. Oh, wow. hang on. <laughs> I've got fireworks for you. But yeah, I've given myself fireworks already. Partly the reason I thought it could be art bank drum. It's because many reviews said they didn't really get any rum on it and they didn't think it was anything that special. Yeah, but it's a different with this I asked back then. By the way, you've put this on the shelf. <laughs> so it so is going up here so somewhere. You have beat. Go for it. Speed monitor is better. 
No. <laughs> I'm the next bottle is going to be missing pen. Number one hundred and twenty-nine. Ooh, could be an eye bag. <laughs> it could be. Quite a lot of bubbles. Oh, big bubbles. Not a bourbon. Mmm, 129. Oh, a lot of bubbles. Look at them. They're really hanging in there. Wow. Big bubbles. No troubles. It must be 55, 57. Let's see Sunday evening scotch. Putting drum ahead of Craig Ellicky 13 and OP 17 on the shelf. Very interesting. Those two have dropped a bit, but they have stiff competition for sure. Well, I didn't put it ahead. It wasn't on the shelf for me. Oh, apples. Apple? <laughs> yeah. Apple seven, yeah, apple. Right, we will be back on Thursday to find out what bottle number 129 is going to be. Strong? Hmm. <laughs> I think I was stuck. <laughs> I was lured into a trap. Oh, that's sort of in the world of old malt cask type ben, of thing. Ben Nevis. Okay. <laughs> See you all. What did I say? Tuesday, <laughs> Sunday. Oh no, Tuesday. Thursday. Oh, Tuesday for a drawing. See you then. <laughs>